Okay, hi everyone. Um, so today's task is going to be called um, in the classroom, hit the target. And um, it's gonna take you to, um, if you can see in this top screen here, Desmos, and you will be asked to enter your name. Okay, so that's all you do. So I had already entered my daughter's name. Um, so, and tried a couple things. So that's why it's saying continue the activity, but it won't say that for you. It'll just ask you for your name. So you go ahead and enter your name and then it will take you to this screen here. Should yeah, so it's just loading. It might take a few minutes. Well, a few seconds, really. Um, and once it comes up, you're going to see this screen. So as was in the video that you watched on plotting points, it talked about the x-axis being the horizontal and the y-axis being the vertical, okay? So here, um, you'll notice a target, and you'll notice that there's this x, right, and this y. So the x tells you is that first number, so how far along the horizontal you wanna go, and then the Y tells you how far up or down you wanna go, okay? So because the number's positive, that means I'm going to the right. And um, it's currently going to the right five and then up one. But my job is to change the X and Y so that it hits the target, the red target. So you would have to play with the numbers. So if I look here, I would say that it is, X would be about two. So I'm gonna delete that five, put the two in. Notice how it changed the black dot, okay? So then I need, I think I want to be, up this high. So I want to be over two and about at six. So that should put the dot about there, which will hit the bullseye. So I'm going to change my Y to six. Okay, and voila, it is hit the target. Okay, so that is the very first one. So that yeah, the next one is going to be similar idea. They just don't have the black dot that you can see. So you just go ahead and enter your numbers here and here. Okay, and it says if you understand decimals, so maybe some of the grade sixes who've done decimals before, if they want to try and be more exact about hitting that center of the red dot, they can. Um, but the idea is to keep trying until you get the dot being right in that center there. So always the horizontal distance first and then your vertical, okay? So we continue on through this activity. And then if you notice, we're in a different, what's called quadrant. So at the top here, right, it's positive but on the side here, it's now negative. So this is sort of, so if we think of a quadrant, it's sort of the lower um, right-hand corner. So we would have to put in a positive value for Y and a negative value for X. Okay, so keep going along this activity. The last three, don't give up. Um, are a little bit tougher, but I'm pretty sure you could try a few things to figure it out. Okay. All right. Great. Good luck tomorrow. Bye for now.